Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We are spotlighting nine fabulous, talented women who have been in the arts uh, for many, many years. And it's in conjunction with celebrating International Women's Month. We have graffiti artists in this show. We have printmakers, photographers, painters, assemblage, mosaic. So I wanted to show a broad spectrum of what female artists are working in, what mediums they're working in today. It's not a retrospective of their work. It's just to show that they are continually working and coming up with new work. In this show, I have pastel landscapes, both in black and white and in color. And my work is somewhat realistic, but also somewhat abstract. It's almost like a photo impressionist kind of style. I've always been inspired by clouds, especially in the sky. The more important part of what I do, more than even a sense of place or an exact location, it's more of an emotional response to nature and the world around us. I wanted to simplify my work, so I started doing abstract, and then I combined both styles, and I did abstract together with more figurative, like figurative, you know, more expressive heads. I basically have been inspired by my travels to many exotic places of the world over the years, and nature, and more specifically, I love trees, I'm enamored by them. Their movement, for me, they symbolize growth. I first started doing this about 20 years ago when I left a corporate job that I had had for many years and I could finally go out to jazz clubs at night because I didn't have to be at work at the crack of dawn and I wasn't on airplanes all the time and um, because photography had always been a passion of mine as well as the jazz music, I started taking my camera with me. My favorite picture in this exhibit is one of the late Frank West and Wycliffe Gordon in the last recording session that Frank did. The piece that I have in this show is an installation of four panels that deal with the yin and yang symbol. I use a lot of mixed media and a big part of it is mosaic. That's the process, but I'm interested in social issues. Trying to marry my activism of dealing with the inequality the, with, um, in the world and with the materials that I love uh, and the process that I love, trying to find a great confluence of, of those. This whole thing came about when a friend of mine, who is a psychiatrist, invited me to collaborate on a book based on her work. These are prints, um, and they're monoprints, they're one of a kind, and they were done as illustrations for a book based on the work of Zora Neale Hurston. When my youngest daughter came home from college, one of the boxes was damaged, and on the top of the box was the book, Their Eyes Were Watching God. And I took it out to examine the box first, and then after reading the book, I was just so inspired because I could see the connection between her life and my life both of us, uh, African-American women, who were coming to New York to make our mark. <laughs> we really want to be able to uh, give our community and people who are visiting our community an opportunity to see some, some beautiful art, some cutting edge art. It's not just about Great Neck, it's about the entire Gold Coast of Long Island. There's a history there. Culturally, we have incredible resources. We have great artists. And we have people who really appreciate the arts here, which is really very exciting and just a great thing for, for, for Great Neck here, for North Hempstead, for the Gold Coast Arts Center. Uh, I'm really proud to be part of it.